I don't know. I feel like it wasn't meant for me to make this video today because this is like my third attempt and I completely demo demolished our Bluetooth thingy. Hey, welcome to Mom Topic. Today's topic is mom moments and it's mom versus Thomas the Train. Um, I'm Rachel Hines. I am the mom of two little boys. I have Kason and Callan. They are two and a half and three and a half right now. When we were potty training our oldest, who is now three and a half, we played with toys and we did different things at the beginning of them learning. Just trying to keep them to sit on the potty, you know, just to like, Hope that you can time it out to where they actually go, and that way you can like celebrate it and then get like they can connect that like, oh, I did something good. He was sitting on the potty, and I was sitting on the floor next to him, playing with toys and stuff. And he had just gotten this Thomas toy train where the wheels spin and like it can go around a track or whatever. And he carried that thing everywhere, like he loved that thing. And we were playing, and I was just waiting, you know. And like seriously, that's like we, I feel like we spent days in the bathroom at that point. Still there now with the other one. And so he was playing with his train and everything, and he was like driving it on my head. I didn't think much of it, I was you know, playing with him. And all of a sudden, um, my hair started getting pulled, and so like I grabbed the train, and it, it didn't come off. He was attached to me, and my hair had wound up into the wheel of Thomas. So I immediately stood up, and was like looking in the mirror, holding Thomas, because it was like right here, holding Thomas, and like, like he's, a part of me now like we're together in this I was home alone with the two boys my husband wasn't home there was no one there but me so like I, I couldn't just like you know let you know have a Thomas hanging off my head for you know the next five hours till my husband got home that wasn't really um something I wanted to do so I tried and tried and I'm like you know trying to carefully like unwind like no there was no hope so I had to cut my hair and like, no, it wasn't a couple of strands. Yeah, it was noticeable, like, very. And it was like, you know, like at first it's like, oh, it's not that bad, but it was. And it was like one of those things, like as it grew, the worse it got, you know? I don't have really fine hair. I don't have super thick hair. I feel like it's just kind of, you know, in between maybe, but it, it was just, it was straight up. It was one of them things there. You may notice that I parked my hair on this side now I, I didn't used to thanks to Thomas the train um, I now part my hair on this side Granted, it now it is grown out it's a year later my hair doesn't take that long to grow out it, it is good now I guess but I still part my hair on that side I don't know why Thomas got wound up in my hair and I had to cut it like there was there was nothing about it I had to cut it this is a funny little story that I've I've told a few people in my you know inner circle or whatever it's just one of them stories that you gotta tell you know when when something stupid and embarrassing happens to you I don't know why we just we like to share it like like hey what, what stupid thing happened to me well sure and so we'd like to share it with people I don't know what it is we like for people to laugh at us I don't I don't know so that is my little mom versus Thomas the train um, I will say that day was probably mom zero at Thomas the train one I have been a mom for three and a half years and I have a lot of stories of stupid things that have happened to me or goofy things that just happened to us like I don't know whenever you take care of kids there's gonna be some stuff happen to you and I just think it's fun to share with all of you guys these funny moments because they're relatable you guys maybe have not had to cut your hair because you had a Thomas the train stuck in it I hope I'm not alone but I could be the only person in the whole entire world that that ever happened to but if you have got something stuck in your hair or any kind of funny moment that you've ever been through thanks to your children or maybe just on your own comment below I, I want to hear you guys I want to hear your parenting moments and know that I am not alone you guys are just as messed up as I am uh, um, things happen and life is funny and I think it's great to find moments that we may not have laughed at the time. When I stood up and realized Thomas was a part of my head, I wasn't laughing. I may have done that like nervous laughter like so I didn't, you know, scare my children into thinking, oh my goodness, what just happened? I'm gonna kill you kind of a moment, but like, like it wasn't very funny at the time. Now, now 
I think it's kind of funny. So I want to hear from you guys. Comment below. Let me know, you know, what what's going on with you and your children. Um, subscribe so you can hear my newest and latest crazy mom moment because I have plenty to share with you guys. So um, subscribe so you can hear more about my crazy life and comment so I can hear about your crazy life. Thanks guys for all your support and for watching and um, stay tuned for the next time. See ya!